Well, a couple weeks ago, I did a video cutting some Acme threads with my new follow wrist. And it went pretty well, but I was doing some investigation on how to cut Acme threads. And I figured out that I was supposed to be tipping the insert toward the helix angle. In other words, more angled toward the angle of the threads. And after doing a little further investigation, uh, I realized that some insert holder, thread insert holders, this is a half inch shank holder, most of your larger ones, like 5 eighths or larger, have a shim underneath that insert. And there's a variety of shims available, like two and a half and three and a half degree angles. The cover, the threads, when you go into uh, more extreme uh, thread helix angles, uh, where you get into extremes is like what I was cutting, it was small diameter, but a fast thread. I was cutting half, 10, ten threads per inch. Uh, the finer threads, the helix angle is, is much less, so you don't need a shim. But the half-inch tools with sh available shims are hard to find, and then getting the right shims is really difficult to find, too. So I'm going to address that today. I'm going to make a modification. But let me show you the chart off a website I found. Okay, this is a website I found, and, and I'll put the link in the description below below the video. But the, over here is the thread pitch. In this case I was cutting 10 threads per inch. And the bottom's in metric, but uh, about 12 millimeter is half inch, a little bit over that. So if you draw a line, you can see that the shim angle needs to be three and a half. Uh, this here, from what I understand on insert holders, with shims, the standard shim is 1.5 degrees. Well, I don't think mine's shimmed at all, but I could be wrong. 1.5 degrees is a fairly small angle. I may be overlooking it. Here's a 3816. It says I need a 2.5 degree angle. And here's half 13. Looks, looks like right on the edge of uh, three and a half degree angle. And here's one and a half by eight falls into the standard. And three quarter ten looks like I need a 2.5 2 degree angle. So this is, these are ideal ranges and obviously you can, there's a wide range that you can use in there. Wide, wide range of different thread pitches. But for optimum results, I think it would be good to be able to set the angle to wherever I want. So that's what we're going to do today. I got a plan. Okay, here's what I did to cut my Acme threads, and it worked well. In fact, it worked way better than without the shim. I put a shim like right here, and then locked it down. And that closely approximated the helix angle of those Acme threads. Okay, here's my plan. Notice in the bottom of that holder there's a little groove. This is a uh, 250 102 holder, and that little groove is designed to hold a boring bar, which has a round shank so that you can rotate it wherever you need it. So, my plan is to take a hardened bolt. Cut the tool off right there and weld a round shank on that tool. That way I can make that angle anywhere I want. That's the plan anyway.
I'm just going to bore down maybe a quarter inch. I think that's deep enough. That's about two hundred thousandths deep. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I need to go in sixty-two thousand. To, get to, to hit this 3.8. Okay. What I want to do I, I made that a little bit longer so I could lay a weld in there, provide a place for the weld. I'm going to chamfer this edge a little bit here. Okay, there we go. I think that's going to work good. Well, this is going to be kind of hard to make pretty. Maybe not for a good welder, but that doesn't... I'm not a good welder. <laughs> I got a fairly snug fit in there, but I want to still weld it on each side to stop warpage, hopefully. Not perfect, but it'll work. What I'm doing, making sure that's flat right there, and I'm going to mill a little flat off of those threads just to give me something to reference on if I want to use a protractor or something to cut the uh, angle of that tool. Okay, now I can set that angle wherever I want it. I think that's going to work good. Okay, this is not the ideal way of doing this. A digital protractor would be ideal. I've got this set at three and a half degrees. I'm just going to go vertical. This is set for half 13. Very common size. Considering the fact that this tool will cut half 13 threads without being tipped, 
It's probably not extremely critical, so the way I'm doing it's probably going to work out okay. You can see the amount it's tipped. Not a whole lot. Okay, I'm setting the center height. If you don't know about this way of doing it, it's pretty useful. Looks like I'm fairly close to on center. As long as that's vertical, I'm close to center. Okay, touching right there. I'm, I've got everything set up for eight threads per inch, or uh, 13 threads per inch. Double check. Those look good. Let me get a half, half 13 nut here. And we'll give that a try. Went a little bit deep. Anyway, it looks good. I'd call it a success. I guess to really get a true comparison, I should put the tool at level and then try it again. And I'm pretty well convinced that I'm on the right track there, according to all the websites I've been reading. That's a fairly easy modification, very durable. You've got left and right hand threads. Put the angle anywhere you want it. That about wraps it up for today. Thanks for joining me and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell.